Hey guys, my name is Bowtie and I'm going to tell you how I hit diamond in 20 games this competitive act. Here's some background for the agent pool and where I was before I hit diamond. To start this competitive act off, I was plat 2 and I've largely been filling in almost every game. My most played roles are controller and initiator, but I mainly prefer playing duelists like a jet or arena. I used to play a ton of overwatch and my favorite hero is Cassidy, so I'm not completely new to the realm of FPS games. To start off any rank session, I used to heavily use aim labs to warm up and practice in the Valorant shooting range to work on my aim and counter strafing. I used the Miyagi method almost every time I queued a year ago. It greatly improved my aim and mechanics and helped me become a more steady aimer. The Miyagi method is essentially starting off with the Sheriff, moving to the Guardian and shooting range, and then applying everything you did there into a deathmatch. The focus is tracking and predicting the enemy player's movements. After about 2-3 minutes, I would switch to the gun I would use in-game and apply everything I did prior and finish the deathmatch out. The key is to not win the deathmatch, but to use the deathmatch as a resource to recreate possible scenarios that may play out, such as holding an angle and jiggling, or knowing how to push a part of the map that one might not be familiar with, or maybe isolating fights. Putting yourself in these situations will help when it comes time for ranked. I also have an alternate account that's around the same rank so I can keep my aim fresh and ready for when I want to play on my main account. I heard this somewhere in the Valorant scene, but give yourself 3 strikes or 3 losses before you log off in order to avoid endlessly tilt killing. Valorant is a mentally taxing game that'll show if you let your emotions get to you. If I had a really bad loss, I immediately queued a deathmatch to completely reset my mental. I honestly thought I'd grind hard for diving, but I realized that having a good mentality, good duo around the same rank as you, and good communication is what will help you rank up in this game. To recap, I'll go over what I did in 5 steps. Number 1. Have a consistent warm-up routine. It can be Kovacs, aim labs, or just doing everything within the game. Number two, be confident and optimistic that you'll play well. This part is extremely important for the mental. Number three, play with a duo or in a stack. In doing so, it will reduce the amount of RNG you get when you play with randoms. Number four, trade your teammate when they die. When your teammate calls for a peek, swing with them and trade them if they die. Don't sit back and bait as this will likely cause confusion and dysfunction within the team. Number 5. Have fun. As cliche as it sounds, having fun is the most important step. If you have fun, the game will come more naturally to you. To conclude, I know Diamond isn't that high of a rank, but I never thought I would even touch Diamond. In the coming months, I'll be starting a Road to Ascendant series. Hope you guys stay tuned for that. I stream sometimes on Twitch at twitch.tv slash bowtiefps, so go check me out over there too. If you haven't already done so, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.